some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Burlville, Rhode Island with Josh Abrams, or as I like to call him, well, I can't exactly say what I want to call him on YouTube considering I prefer to not get demonetized, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I have a whole lot of choice names for this dude, but I don't think YouTube would appreciate it that much. So, anyway, we find this idiot at the local town hall where he walks into the city manager's office with no invitation whatsoever and just makes himself right at home. Oh, I tell you something, I just don't like this dude. He has no manners, he has no decorum, he has no ethics. All he is is a sad, pathetic waste of life. At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Um, that is located right here in Burville. We're doing a first amendment audit. Let's check it out. This is a haunted place, by the way. My money just fell. Morning. Good, how are you? Good morning. Oh, we're good. We're just taking a look around. Thanks. Did you say welcome to Fantasy Island? <laughs> Hello, Michael. How are you? Oh, that's a nice little hat collection you got there. I'm just taking a look around at your nice office here. For those who are new in my audience, this is Josh. He is one of these types that wants everybody to lick his boots to show him the respect that is not due to him. But oh no, you're not going to get any respect in return from him. No, all you're going to get is him treating you like you are beneath him. I would hate to be beneath him. I mean, look at him. Look how fat he is. And I hate the fat shame on this channel, but I'll make an exception for him. Let me ask you something, Josh. How many trips to uh, KFC did you make today? Three? Four? Or did you do more? And just how many pieces of chicken did you eat from each of those trips? I wonder, can you take down a whole 20 piece by yourself? I mean, that would be a massive effort on anybody's part. I mean, but you, you could probably tackle it with no problem. Appreciate it. You smile for the camera. There you go, that's a nice little smile. All right. All right, cool there. Sorry? Would you mind leaving, please? No, I don't mind. Thank you. I know you don't mind, but would you leave, please? Uh, I'm good. I'm just, I'm still taking pictures. This is a public office. Yeah, that's Thank you. Here. It's, it's, not here. Public office. This is like it's not? I thought it was a town manager's office. It is, but you need to, right. you can't just walk in the manager's office. Of course you can. The door's open. There's no restricted access signs. It's a public office, and we're, we're not, certainly not trespassing, so we're just taking our pictures, and then we'll be on our way. Thank you, Michael. I guess all that greasy chicken has been rotting away your brain because, you know, walking into somebody's office like that is not exactly the most polite thing you can do. In fact, it is a sign of somebody lacks common sense, lacks common decency, and is all around an idiot. And one of these days, he needs to be taught some manners because it is far, far overdue for that. Noting that in my investigation. Michael seems a little agitated. I hope it's not. Uh, oh, are they? Okay, there you go. You want me to smile? And... Oh, yeah, I'm not sure I know who's in here, that's all. Okay. All right, you got it? Yeah. We're, we're For happy, safety. Happy to, yeah, happy okay. to take our video here. Now. All right, let's yeah, get, yeah. Let's get us healthy here. Uh, perfect. Okay. Now, can you do me a favor, Michael? Would you please leave uh, Just, office? just don't delete that because I'm going to get a copy of that footage. Okay. You're not going to get anything. So would you? Would you like to make a bet? Please leave my shut office. your mouth. I'm going to go get a copy of that video. I said, shut your mouth. 
I'm going to get a copy of that video. What kind of man just walks up to some random stranger like that and tells him to shut up in his own office? This worthless tub of lard, that's who. Let me tell you something, Josh. One of these days, you're going to walk up to some stranger and do that exact same thing, only it's not going to end very well for you because you probably just triggered the wrong person. That belongs to the people. You just created a public record, which means that belongs to me and to him and anyone else who wants to see it. So if you delete it, you're in violation of the Federal Records Act. Okay. All right? Now please leave my office. Now, now because you told me to, I'm not going to. How does that work? Sit down then, relax. Well, no, I don't want to sit down. I'm going to leave your office. I don't know what to do. See, we don't work for you. You work for us. So now we're going to go get a, we're going to get a copy of that video. I'll be right back. Just make sure he doesn't delete that. Hello, can I have a records request, please? Thank you so much. I did see a little flash of something. <laughs> what, what is it? The power of the people compels you. The power of freedom compels you. Yes. The power of the First Amendment compels you. <laughs> the power of the people compels you. <laughs> like, every come it's so nice. Everyone's great. We turn the corner and then... Oh, look at welcome to Fantasy Island. Yeah. <laughs> or something. Welcome to Burrow. Oh, it's just like, you know, we see there's all these cool hats. Like, oh, look at the cool hats. Look at the football helmet. Can you leave? And then he's taking out his camera and taking pictures of us. And all I said was, okay, you know, we smiled for the camera. We said, you know, we're just going to, we would like to get a copy of that because it's a public record. Just don't delete it. You're not going to get anything. Just... Oh, yeah, no, yeah, thank you very much. Too. You'd be like a smile model. Yes, the perfect picture of happiness. Hey, Lard ass, do you feel that pain in your rear end? That's you being butthurt because that guy didn't want to bow down and kiss your boots. So now go throw your little tantrum like a two-year-old little boy and move along home. All right, perfect, guys. So we wrote, um, town manager Michael took pictures and video of us while in his public capacity, thus creating public record. We request all picture and video. We got the date. Looks good. All right. And I made a phone call to some, someone. Perfect. <laughs> Make sure you can read the email. Sometimes I've been known to have a bit of chicken scratch. The AFA crew at gmail.com. Okay. All right. And I thank you very much. Have I have a question. Right, is, it, is, Michael, is Michael possessed by demonic force? Do you know? I don't believe in such things. Do you know if really? Michael has been to the conjuring house here in Burville? I have no idea. It, do you think it would be helpful if we offered Michael an exorcism? I don't believe in such things. Okay. Thank you very much for being so nice. Well, thanks for your opinion. You're giving your honest opinion. Appreciate that. Oh, there's job postings. Maybe we can get town manager on there. Oh, little Josh's feelings got hurt because he didn't get the town manager to bow down and lick his boots. And now he wants to have him fired. Well, that's not going to happen in your lifetime, you ass muncher. All right. Michael, the power of the people compels you to do better, bud. A little longer than a few minutes later. That's probably a good idea. Don't talk about that in front of our cameras, Michael. <laughs> oh, man. Mike, that's not a great look, is it? Is it? Come on, man. We could do this together. Let's bring it back around. Can you tell me why you were acting so unprofessionally, Mike? By the way, official cease and desist for the destruction of any video or photographic evidence that is in your phone that was used to create public record. We did create a records request, so any destruction of that video or photographic evidence will be in direct violation of the Freedom of Information Act request laws and protections. Do you understand that verbiage, Michael? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Michael's possessed. Yeah, don't get rid of that stuff there, Mikey. Can I call you Mikey? 
All right, Mikey, thanks, man. Oh, go ahead. Are you coming in? I'm not coming in, sir. Well, there you have it. Mr. Accountability for All, a.k.a. Josh Abrams, one of the biggest scumbag frauders you'll ever encounter. Josh, I wish you'd try that in some of the offices in my neck of the woods. You would definitely get booted out of the office. They don't take kindly to people like you around here. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.